Here in the UK, Boris Johnson has denied claims made by his former top adviser that he waved aside warnings of a planned drinks party at Downing Street during the first coronavirus lockdown. Dominic Cummings said he'd be prepared to swear on oath that it happened and it would mean that Boris Johnson had misled Parliament. The Prime Minister has admitted he attended the gathering in May 2020 but claims he believed it was work-related. Jonathan Blake reports. Once the Prime Minister's closest adviser, now one of his fiercest critics. Dominic Cummings' newly detailed version of events contradicts what the Prime Minister told MPs. Drinks in the Downing Street Garden when England was under strict lockdown measures on the 20th of May 2020. An invite sent by the Prime Minister's private secretary, Martin Reynolds, to around 100 staff told to bring their own booze. Last week, the Prime Minister gave his explanation. I believed implicitly that this was a work event. But Mr Speaker, with hindsight, I should have sent everyone back inside. Now, writing online, Dominic Cummings says on the day of the event itself, I said to the PM something like, Martin's invited the building to a drinks party. You've got to grip this madhouse. Going on to write, not only me, but other eyewitnesses who discussed this at the time would swear under oath that this is what happened. Number 10, though, says it is untrue that the Prime Minister was warned about the event in advance. You have confidence in the Prime Minister? Conservative MPs have talked of anger among their constituents at continued accusations of events which may have broken the rules which most members of public were following. A handful now say time's up for the Prime Minister, but most are waiting for an official report. I've spoken to party members, people who have been law party members mm. and activists for many years, and I would say the, 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 by, by far the clear view that I've had from them is we should give the, him, the Prime Minister, the benefit of the doubt until we see what's in Sue Gray's report. People are angry. People want to know what's going on. And the Prime Minister acknowledged that in his statement in the House, that regardless of you know, what may have been thought or, or said at the time of that party in the garden, it, you cannot explain it away. You cannot say that it was justifiable. It was clearly wrong. It should never have happened. And so people are, are, are rightly angry about that and want to know, I think, what the Prime Minister is going to do to put this right. Labour say the government's in chaos. If he did know, if he was aware that the invites went out, if he was aware that uh, concerns were raised, and indeed if he did then say the party should go ahead, um, this, is, this is just extraordinary. Conservatives are gravely concerned. All of Westminster is waiting for the report attempting to establish the facts. Jonathan Blake, BBC News. A short time ago, the BBC spoke to Mr Johnson's Deputy Prime Minister, Dominic Raab. Well, look, if you're talking about a lie, um, I think it has very serious consequences. Probably it depends uh, on the context, but of course that's totally unacceptable. What I'm not going to do, though, is get dragged into hypothetical uh, questions because it all, uh, I think the context does matter. In relation to the, the latest uh, a claim that's been made, the Prime Minister's been very clear. He believed in relation to the uh, relevant day at hand that that was a work event. Um, he's expressed contrition and he's apologised uh, in front of the House of Commons um, for some of the practices that went on uh, at Downing Street. Um, he's made clear that he believed that he was acting in good faith in accordance with the rules. Dominic Raab there, let's cross.